Um, you know, obviously we're just disappointed with the outcome, and um, you know, I just thought we had a really good game plan going into the first half, and we just for about five, six minutes in the start of the second half just had a huge letdown, and just obviously had to fight our way back. And Carolina's a very good team, and uh, it was just tough to make up that many points. That one of those, you know, that game keeps going another five minutes where you, you like yeah. your chances the way you ended things. Yeah, you know, against a good team, I, I just, we just, again, we dug ourselves too much of a hole there coming out in the second half, and we just, we didn't have, yeah, we ran out of time, basically. I mean, what, what, what changed for you? It seemed like that that uh, that press really started to, to rattle in a little bit, and you guys were able to create some, some yeah. turnovers and some chances. Yeah, you know, I wish I would have probably gone to it a little bit sooner or have gone to the zone a little bit sooner, you know, just to protect SI and foul trouble and probably waited a little bit too long to do that. So, but um, no, it was just, you know, half court press. We've done it before. We we just, I mean, that's what I love about, like, the how aggressive we were. But I, I challenged the team, like, that should have been us in the first half, you know, the first uh, start of the first half or second half. So... Again, it's all there. You know, we're playing with these teams that are top 10, top 15 teams, and we just we got to understand that it's a 40-minute game, and we just had lapses too long against good teams. It's just too too much to come back. If you hit that three there, I think they cut it to four. Um, how? Uh, I mean, still liked your your chances even then. Did you feel like you were you were getting to them then? That maybe they would, you know, keep giving you guys opportunities to to get back in this, despite you know the deficit you guys built. Yeah, I mean, during that time, they were rattled. Um, we were just trying to get um, deflections on the ball, and they didn't know what to do. But, like, um, when they were making those layups down the floor, it kind of, like, deflated our momentum a little bit. So, I mean, we, we were putting pressure, but we just needed to play like that, like Coach said before, earlier. You guys missed 11 of your first 13 shots in the second half. Was that, you know, it was a two-point game at halftime. Is that pressing to make those first four minutes count, or is that just wanting it too bad, or what? What, what kind of causes that beyond? Well, we got in foul. We got in um, early foul trouble. We had to pull our main people out, and then we were we just looked um, discombobulated offensively and shooting way too quick. I mean, way too quick. And and the other thing I talked to the team about is like when we have a chance to make an easy layup. We tended to bang it off, ricochet it off the backboard, which gives you no chance to transition defense. So I, I think offensively, shot too quick, um, and then just when we did have good looks, just didn't finish easy layups, and that hurt us. But obviously, the other end of the floor hurt us just as bad. With we were up 13 on the boards, I think at half or right around there, and finished up four. You know, so it was it was both ends of the floor for about you know six seven minutes. Talk about missing layups. How big was the one where you get a good look? I think Lexi has a follow up. Both miss, and then it's a two on nothing fast break. The other has a huge four point swing. It's different when you're going in there and you're shot faking and getting fouled and going to the free throw line, or you're in position to rebound. Well, when we're just everybody's running in and you throw a shot up, we don't make it. It's just, you know, it's just tough. Sarah, talk about kind of I mean, the, the foul trouble and everything. How did you have to, did you have to address your game at all when you came back in with those four fouls? And, um, you know, how difficult was it out there with the, with the quick whistles? Yeah, it was it was really di difficult because I feel like I was I started playing timid, like trying to adjust to the to the refs, and I felt like I wasn't going like strong like I usually go because I was scared that they were gonna call the um, blow the whistle. You, I think this is you guys haven't shot, you know, thirty three percent in a long time. Might be the worst shot here. Um, you've been shooting really well here. More of them, or were you? I mean, you talk about the quick shots and things like that, but in combination. Yeah, combination. You know, I think our layout, we just rushed everything and took quick shots. You know, probably the wrong people taking shots, too. You know, we didn't get anything getting to the rim. And that eight minutes, nothing was about getting to the rim. You know, uh, it was all, we were just jacking threes there for a minute. And that, that killed us. That really hurt us offensively. So, again, that, I think that really hurt our, our percentage there. But, um, you know, I, like I said before, I think it's a combination on both ends of the floor during that eight minutes. Does it feel like you guys are kind of fickle almost? I mean, 13 to 13, you got some really good wins. Yeah. And then some games that, you know, people wonder how you got 13 wins. Yeah, just, um, you know, we're not consistent, you know. We're, we, 
we have to be good kids and this is a team. We're not. You know, we're better at home than we are on the road. And we, we got to buck up and, and decide that we, um, you know, I talked talk to the team about, you know, I, I mean, the first half, the last eight minutes of the game, like that's who we are. That's what we're, I should say this, that's what we're capable of being. They have to believe that that's who they can be, and they have to, they have to sell out in that way. Is that a light bulb thing where, you know, at some point you think that maybe in practice someday it'll all just click and then you guys will be the last eight minute team all the time or, you know? You know if I had the answer to that, <laughs> <laughs> I, I just don't know. I don't know. Got to stay the course with them though. Faith, uh, again, another um, big night out of you off the bench, 24 points. What, uh, you know, uh, you feel like you gave that, that spark again? I mean, it, it's kind of getting routine at, the, at this point, but um, just is it any different, you know, you giving a spark now than it was a couple weeks ago? Just see the team rally around you every time you, you go in there. Um, I mean, nothing felt different today. Um, I mean, that's my job, to do whatever to help us win, and that's what I felt like I did, but um, I just felt like a few lapses on just offense and defense just really hurt us, and, um, you know, that's my part too, and you know we just all have to take ownership. I just felt like um, Coach Corey said that it was important to be 11 strong today, and we we weren't 11 strong today. Joe, I mean you you lose by six to the number 11 team in the country, and you were down by 19 at one point. Your best post player only plays basically half the game, um, and you didn't shoot the ball well. Did it, did it to only lose by six? I mean, how do you kind of grade this effort? I think I'm just stuck in that six, seven minutes, you know, because I think we're just better than this, you know, we're better. I mean, I, I get we don't we can't have her sit on the bench, you know, I mean, that just kills us, you know, and obviously Frankie as well. But I just I, I, I know that this team's personality is that they can figure it out for, you know, whether it's four minutes without Sarai or, you know, whatever, we, we can figure that out. And um, I, I just want them to believe that they can do it whether she's in the game or out of the game. Quick look ahead to, to NC State. Obviously, I'm sure you wanted at least a split of this week, and there's still an opportunity here. Obviously, this was a, a better one, but um, again, another challenge on the road. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, we we keep getting them. So you know, you, you, I think the progress for us as a team is: can we sit down and um, sit down and guard, rebound, and and the the little things on offense. You know, I mean, typically we're a good shooting team, but you know, flow the game. You know. Are we, can we get to the rim? Do we need to get to the free throw line? Are we open for threes? You know, what's that flow like, you know, and understand that. We've had enough games to figure that out. Just for, for Faith and SI, um, do you guys feel like you're you're ready to, to break out on the road? Um, and do you, do you feel close to, to kind of, you know, break the, the struggles you guys have had, you know, away from here? Yeah, I mean, every game we feel that way. We just have to bring it on the floor. You know, once that, once that ball goes up in the air, we just got to bring it. Like, I... Um, all this practice and stuff, it's, it's towards the end of the season, and we just have to mentally be there. And, you know, I think we will. Yeah, and I just feel like we just got to believe that we can get a road win. Exactly. Yeah. Is that all it is is confidence? Yeah. Yeah, confidence.